Good morning, State and High School, and welcome to our very last full week of January. This week is also going to be our very first Mental Health Awareness Week, and we as an ASB have prepared several resources and other things that we're going to be sharing with you throughout this week to support this cause, and there will be more information on how we're going to get you that information later in this video. But up first, we have some demonstrations from our very own student council giving us some ideas on some things that we can do to take care of our own mental health, this thing that is so important during this time. So with that, we are going to get right into that. I hope you all have a great week, and go Eagles! Never be afraid to speak up. Let your friends and family know your thoughts and feelings and ways in which they can help you with whatever you're going through. There are so many people ready and willing to help you, from the SHS counselors to the staff to your friends and family. One way in which you can help yourself is by recognizing and accepting your feelings and emotions. This is a huge step in the mental health process and will help you along the way. And always remember, you're not alone in whatever you go through. Something you could do at the end of the day is journal. It could help you just get things out of your head and make it easier to think about it. Something that always puts me in a good mood is listening to music while I'm getting ready. You could try reading a book. How I relieve stress is by listening to my favorite music. And sometimes it's the little things like playing with your pets that can relieve stress. I feel better after I make my favorite food. Ta-da! You can also listen to a podcast. There's a bunch of things you can do to take care of yourself, and one of the things that I like to do personally is schedule a me time. Honestly, it doesn't have to be a full day. It could be an hour, a minute, or even a second where it's just you by yourself and focusing on yourself. My name is Tamara Ricchetto and I'm one of the school counselors here at State and High School. I work with students uh, with the last names A through J. Part of my job is to work with students to make sure that you feel safe at school and that you know that you have someone that you can turn to and trust that respects you and that will advocate for your needs. I also work with students um, to explore your options um, for classes based on your interests or abilities. Um, and then I help students develop personal goals for high school and then beyond. Um, I also provide immediate crisis counseling, um, usually individual, one-on-one um, -on -one with students. This means when you're feeling stressed or anxious, um, angry, upset, um, or you have things going on in your life or at school, um, I can listen and help solve problems or even refer you to a clinical counselor um, that can offer even more guidance. Um, I work with students, parents, teachers, when students are struggling with academics, and we work together to come up with strategies um, that will help support um, your learning and then also ultimately your success in high school. Um, whether it's academic planning or college and career discussions, social emotional support, um, family communication, 
I'm here to advocate for you. Um, I came up with a few suggestions on ways to deal with stress. You've probably heard a lot of these before, but this is just a reminder. One, <laughs> the biggest thing is remember to breathe. When we get stressed, we start to take shorter, shallow breaths and we can't think or act properly. If you take deep, breath, deep breaths, <sighs> even doing things like square breathing, where you breathe in, you hold your breath, you breathe out, you hold your breath, you breathe in and you continue that. Sometimes it helps our mind get focused. Um, this can actually affect your mind and body um, and even your heart and um, have a calming feeling. Um, when you get overwhelmed with homework or you get behind on assignments, make sure you create a to-do list for yourself. Focus on one thing at a time. If you think about all the things that you need to do and get done, it can be overwhelming and sometimes we just don't even want to start. So it's important to make a plan and start with one thing at a time. I also like to listen to music and then doodle or draw. So that would be another suggestion. Take a walk, even if it's in the rain or even, even if it's cold out, that invigorates your body and gets your mind thinking on different things. Um, one thing I like to do, and I would <laughs> recommend this, um, close your eyes sometimes. Um, well, and as long as you're in a safe place, you're not, you know, um, walking. <laughs> you don't want to do that when you're walking, but close your eyes and think of a happy place. Um, if you can't think of a happy place, think of somewhere that you want to travel, somewhere you would want to go. And when you get there, think about what you would want to do. If you ever want to know where my happy place is um, when school starts or when you're in the building, um, you can stop by the counseling office because I have a picture and it always reminds me of my happy place. Um, hug someone, even a pet. Um, actually, when you hug someone, it releases oxytocin and that reduces the stress hormone. So actually giving somebody a hug will reduce your stress levels. And that includes giving, uh, hugging your pet or even petting them. Um, smile and laugh. Laughter reduces stress and you can't be angry or stressed when you're smiling or laughing. Um, last but not least, there's lots of others, but call, email, text a friend, um, find somebody to talk with, even me. So with that, I wanna let you know that I'm available Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Um, you can call me 503-769-2171 here at the school, um, or you can email me. Uh, sometimes it takes a little while for me to get um, through to my emails. So if you need to talk to me right away about your schedule or something that's upsetting for you, then please give me a call so we can talk through that. Um, I hope to see you all soon and get to know you a lot better. Hi, I'm Mrs. HD. Um, I work with students with the last names K through Z. Um, tell you a little bit about myself. I am um, I'm married. I have um, two children and uh, we'll have one more in June. Um, so we're very excited about that. Um, basically, I am here as a resource to students to help with pretty much whatever you need. Um, I'm here to help you with school. I'm here to help you talk about social situations or um, relationships, um, family life anything going on in your life at all that you're feeling or experiencing, um, I'm available to help you process it. I can listen to you vent, um, help you solve problems. Um, my perspective is that um, the work that we do in my office is collaborative, meaning um, we work together. So I listen to your perspective, your goals, what you want to, um, what you want to talk about and what you want to accomplish, and then we work together to figure out how to do that. Um, my experience in mental health, um, goes back quite a ways. I studied social work, um, in college. And after that, I went, um, overseas and spent some time, um, learning about myself and, and experiencing life. And then, uh, when I came back to the United States, I got a job working at a mental health treatment facility. So I worked with student, uh, with, um, kids who needed to live in a residential facility to get support for, um, their mental health. 
and um, I learned a lot there about severe mental illness and how to help people um, in moments of crisis. Um, but mostly I learned that I love working with high school students and that I really wanted to continue to work in that kind of profession. Um, so I started graduate school for school counseling. Um, and by the time I graduated, I had my first job. And then after I graduated, I ended up here and I've been here ever since. Um, this is my sixth year at State and High School. Um, I love working in this community. You guys are the best and um, I really enjoy working with all of you and your families. Um, I am, you know, grateful to be able to be here to support you guys. Um, my perspective is to be, um, I'm here to support the whole person of who you are and not just um, your academic self and your educational goals, but you as a human being. So if you need to get a hold of me, um, you can email me. If you go to your school email and you type in uh, my name, my first name is Ashley and my last name in the email is Herndon, H-E-R-N-D-O-N. -E um, if you type that into your email, my name should come up and you can shoot me an email and let me know like, hey, I wanna talk or I wanna meet or hey, I have this question, um, feel free to do that. We also are launching a Canvas page, excuse me, this week. And uh, we're really excited. Um, so you'll be able to go onto that Canvas page. And um, there's a link to fill out a Google form to either um, to meet with myself or, and then there's another one for Mrs. Riquetto if you're on that side of the alphabet. Um, so we, um, we miss seeing you guys around here and we're excited to hopefully connect with some more of you. So let us know if you need anything, if you just have questions, um, anything at all. Thanks.